Sorry about that, guys. My game decided to crash on me like a dick. Pretty nifty. Uh, this is gonna be good. Look at this place. It is awesome. It's a nice moon. Though, with all the toxic <laughs> levels going on, it's not really habitable for humans, if you know what I mean. But, I'm playing as a human with a suit that can handle pretty much almost anything, actually. That, that creature kind of looks like a, um... Hello, buddy. Ooh. Look at him. He looks pretty interesting, this, this little guy does. Yes. Suck my nuts. I don't know why you're right there, but that's amazing. Don't know how I managed to sneak past you, but that's hilarious. Thank you, game. I love you, game. <sighs> Welcome to Elysian Weapons Research Facility. Please have your green identification badge displayed at all times. Ida, did you remember to pack my green identification badge? Yep. Should be right next to your pink library card. Don't worry about it. I'll hack the security system and they'll never be the wiser. Tough security. This might take longer than I thought. Take your time. Looks like I'll be on this elevator till early next week. Dalton, don't joke like that. How's it coming with that security, Ida? Still hacking. Done in a minute. Uh-oh. Guys? What the? Hang on, John. Things remain motionless for weapon scan. Oh, shit. Weapons detected. Relinquish all weapons. 30 seconds. Sounds like they mean it, Ida. Yep. Relinquish all weapons. They really don't like guns. Damn. Anytime you're ready, Ida. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm... Working on it. Ten 
seconds. Defense turrets remain. Those with pain. Fight us! Got it! Security override. Disengaging defense systems. Thank you, and have a nice day. So, did you have it all along? Or do you just like making me sweat? Go to hell, Dalton. Already there, toots. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't hold that one in. Ray, of what I heard in this game it was a little bit too funny, I, I, which couldn't make me hold it in any longer. Uh, uh. Jesus, you sounded like one of those creatures that w one of the life forms that has had one of the inhabitants on this world. Jesus. Boy, what was that noise that you made? Okay, Ray, I'm going to give you a summary of what just happened, of what J John Dalton said to Ida. He says, did you have it all along, or did you, like, making me sweat? Anyways, everyone, thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next session of Unreal 2 The Awakening. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> Peace out, keep on the stealth. Later. Hello everyone, and I am back with more Unreal 2, The Awakening. So, yeah. I play this game a lot. I mean, a lot, but not as much as Unreal. One. So, yeah, I played it so much so I can beat the game, and that's pretty much what I did. And here we are. I just have to make sure that this is working. Yep, that's working. I want to go online. On Steamy Weemy. Oh, look at that. Mr. Ray is online. My boy. <laughs> Ida, can you hack through this door? The schematics look like spaghetti. You'll have to figure something out on your end. Whoa. That would really make my stomach combust. The flamethrower. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, ooh. I, uh, I kind of meant to do that. Thank you. 
Kai that is dead. Damn. Are you? John Dalton, TCA Marshal. Who are you? Jensen. Maintenance for Area 9. Where is everybody? Dead. They're all dead. What happened? Alarms went off. They told me to barricade the door. And then there was an explosion. I crawled here to get fixed up, but I must have passed out. Can you walk? Yeah. I think so. I have to check out the rest of the facility. How can I get past the fire in the ops area? You can go through the control room on the second floor. I know the security code. There's a lift on the other side. Okay, follow me. On the other side. That's what he said. The reason why I got the flamethrower now is because there's going to be new enemies coming up here in a moment. Now what's different about these enemies is that they're going to be very difficult to fight. And that's why you need fire. You heard the man, Ida. Everyone's dead. I guess that explains the radio silence. But what killed them? I'm picking up life forms further in. My guess is you'll soon find out. Everybody is playing games and it's driving me crazy right now. Access denied. Duh. Excuse me. I'll open the door. Military support. The experiments went bad. Some of them got out and now they're everywhere. We built a blockade, but we don't know how long it'll last. Please, send help. They're coming through! Let them come! Back off, Sheffield! Containers are flammable! Come on, you bastards! Eat flame! No, don't! Playback complete. Bastards, yeah. <laughs> nope.
Nasty little buggers. Napalm, perfect. Awesome. so soon. Well, we're reliable. That was a nice spread. That was a good bloody spread. I'm not gonna lie. Nabon would uh, get some educational work from Dalton throughout the game, but as soon as you tell him about the enemies that you fought, he will ask questions like that of what kind of enemies you just fought. Or the... or allies that you ha that you... that you have on your side as well. Oh boy, this doesn't sound good. Nope. I see you. Jeez, nasty little bugger. I need to use the pop gun. That way it's closed down. They're on my butt. Fuck. <laughs> Man. I need to catch my breath here. Wait a minute. These guys don't let up, trust me. Good. Old reliable always comes through for me.
need to figure a way to turn off the gas. Nasty. Ionized plasma gas. You'll have to vent it to get by. Reload. I do like this area of the game of hell. It is very fascinating. It's not technically a hell hell, but... Okay, these little buggers can be a pain. <laughs> little buggers? Ain't so bad. Those little buggers. They're a pain. Hi. Are you a loner? Good. That fan should suck away enough gas for you to get by. Very much? Bran, are you a bear? Brenda? Why were you acting like a bear? Uh, okay then. Why do I hear those little buggers? Stomp on you. Goomba stomp. get bad. Oh, 
Jesus, hi. He scared me. <laughs> kind of. Oh, I forgot you can walk by that. No, you're not tricking me. God, is this where they're all coming from? No, not enough parts. I hear a lot of hissing. I wonder what kind of idea they got for these enemies. I wonder. I like to know. I'm stuck. dead. Perfect. 
forgot about that. Whoops. I'm fighting giant mutant killer spiders. So, Brent, you're a dumpster baby? Are you really? I bet. Hold on, guys. Well, I've made it over here, but I had to cheat the game. I am sorry. My game fucking crashed on me earlier. So, here I am, back over here. Well, just in case the game does crash again, I'm gonna save. Laboratory. 
All kids, sealed. This is reminding me of Half-Life 2. Platforming now. Yay. My favorite of first person shooters. Oh, this looks fun. That's not fun. Well, there it is. Buggers. Oi.
Hi. Now entering Atmospheric's laboratory. Sorry about this, everyone. Bad little arachnids. Bad big arachnids. Oh, thank you. Ooh, that's, uh... Actually, I 
anything. Holy shit. What happened there? <laughs> Hello, little guy. How you doing? Housekeeping? Specimen containment breach. So, this is where the spiders are coming from. It's a breeding farm. Biological experiments. The little ones walk through the beam and suddenly they're huge. Somehow they got out. Not only that, but this beam has been split. It has only a fraction of the original's power. If one of these creatures makes its way to the source, there's no telling what might happen to it. But that's where the artifact is. So that's where I gotta go. Guys, come from. Oh boy. This is how you can tell that the game is setting you up for something huge. I saw you. The artifact is in the beam. You've got to shut it down. The controls are right next to it, but be careful. There's something else in there. Something big. Yeah.
Yeah! Did it! Oh, thank goodness for that to be done. I, um... I, um... I actually finished hell. With no deaths of whatsoever now. Well, that's interesting. Now, I will say this. Sanctuary was a bit hard. It was kind of hard. But, it, it's still pretty good. It, it was a good mission, nonetheless. But, I kind of like this, the mission in, for this part here, because it was hilarious. And I actually enjoyed that from the game itself. <laughs> But, as soon as this game... The Sector Commander is on hyperlink. He wants to talk with you. Lead the way. Be sure to give him a good salute. I'll let you decide how many fingers to use. <laughs> Just a minute. Very confusing. What are you confused about? All these corporations, mercenary forces, alien races. I am mixing them over. Can't tell the players without a program, eh? Okay, let me give you some quick background on each of them. As Earth expands in this sector of space, different corporations are establishing colonies on uninhabited planets. They do everything from creating vacation resorts to mining exotic ores to terraforming. We and the Terran Colonial Authority patrol between the planets to keep the peace. The corporations try to get away with a lot out here, and they hire mercenary forces to help them get their way. We often find ourselves fighting the mercs to defend civilians who work for their own corporation. If we run into something we can't take on alone, we call in the Marines. Um... I will let this part, um, be its own part. No, no, no. I I'm just going to quit the game, actually. I I'm done playing Unreal for today. I am tired as hell. <sighs> Anyways, thank you for watching Unreal 2 The Awakening, and I will see you all next time. Peace out. Keep on the stealth. Later. Okay, well let me just have a second.
curiosity, did you like install anything or uninstall anything before that started happening? Well, that's happened before, but I tried to actually watch the camera. The camera doesn't work on anymore. I decided to just watch the video and then I'll be able to do it again. Did you accidentally lock from in here? I didn't mean to because I actually swiped on it. Maybe you should just try to, maybe you should just see if it'll like eventually kind of get out of the loop or something. I'm not sure. Because, okay. yeah, because I'm not sure. Maybe, it, it, is it something, okay, of the camera not working, is it something, do you think it's hardware related or do you think it's like something software or something? Or hardware, it's like something's physically wrong with the camera. It detects it, but it just doesn't, it doesn't work. Yeah, huh. weird. yeah that is weird. What? I heard. Why, why do you put a question mark? I heard you say something about diarrhea. Uh. As Earth expands in this sector of space, okay. different <laughs> corporations are establishing colonies. I heard you, man. Planet. They do everything from creating Ooh. vacation resorts to mining exotic ores to terraforming. We in the Terran Colonial Authority patrol between the planets to keep the peace. The corporations try to get away with a lot out here, and they hire mercenary forces to help them get their way. We often find ourselves fighting the mercs to defend civilians who work for their own corporation. If we run into something we can't take on alone, we call in the Marines. Anyway. Axon is on our side. They're a private so what, uh, company who works hand-in-hand hand hand with our to? military to research oh, and develop Oh, continuing Unreal 2, The Awakening. Nice. The Leandri Corporation is a heavy industrial and mining combine with installations on dozens of planets. They defend their interests with an army of genetically engineered female warriors who have been raised since Where do I get a red key fighters. card from on this map? The Leandri Angels are cold, dispassionate, and highly efficient. They're among the elite of industrial mercenary forces. The Izanagi is a broad-based conglomerate modeled on the ancient Japanese Kuritsu. They're into whatever makes money and they protect themselves with an elite core of merc soldiers fanatically loyal to the corporation who call themselves ghost warriors. Nice. The Scar are a power-hungry race who have been trying to expand into this sector of space. Normally, their highly tribal social structure prevents them from working together. But recently, We've seen unusual examples of cooperation between the clans, which can only spell trouble for us. Their warriors are all highly independent, intelligent, and very dangerous fighters. Azarians. The Azarians are borderline Azarians. psychotic aliens who seem to live to fight. They had conquered a small area of space and subjugated a few minor races. Then they ran into the Scar and became slaves themselves. With their sadomasochistic tendencies, we're not at all sure Demonic they might. Demonic presence eliminated. The Kai. the Kai are an old semi-nomadic race that has spread from planet to planet, taking a keen interest in the archeology, span folklore, and traditions of each. They stay on the fringes of society, however, and make their way by performing menial tasks wherever they go. Arachnids. They are not a known aggressor race, and they're not indigenous to hell. We think they're just creatures who were imported from off-planet to the labs, and then mutated under the influence of the energy beam and the artifact. And that's it. I saw Isaac went this. Damn, I thought I fixed that. Damn, I thought I fixed that. Damn, I thought I fixed that. <laughs> okay, Nabon went back to the uh, thing, so we go this way. 
Do you want to activate the hyperlink with the sector commander? Fire it up. Go ahead and use this keyboard. Oh. Once you're hooked up, I'll wait by the door to give you the illusion of privacy. Good work recovering the artifact, John. Let me give you some history. A little over a year ago, our Axine Corporation discovered two of these artifacts and set up labs on Hell and Janus to study them. What do these things do? No one knows. We know they're virtually indestructible, and that they emit energy in a way we haven't begun to understand. How many of them are there? Seven. Buried on different planets for millions of years. Unfortunately, the Izanagi and Leandri Corporations caught on and have started massive hunts on their own. How do the Scar fit in? They know we want them, so they want them too. So what comes next? You may yet get your wish, John. General Drexler is temporarily recommissioning your ship as a Marine Corvette. As of now, you and your crew are all temporarily restored to your former ranks. Will it be permanent? Perhaps. I've been brevetted to the Marines as well, and your orders will come through me. Afterwards, I'll go back to the TCA, but you might be in for good. I've already briefed Ida on your next destination. Good luck, John. And good hunting. Yes? Now what can you tell me about Asheron? Dang, that's a nice tweet. Uh, what? Uh, I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Nope. Asheron is the strangest planet in the sector. It's a T-class world orbiting the star NC-867. Oh no, not this What's planet. interesting is that the surface of the planet is covered by a single gigantic organism that has breathing tubes the size of subway tunnels and spores as big as starships. The Izanagi Corporation has been methodically killing this creature as they terraform the planet. They've built a ring of giant chemical reactors to convert the atmosphere to Earth's standard oxygen-nitrogen levels, which the organism doesn't seem to tolerate. I've pulled some images from a marine scout probe. This freaking world. Fuck. Days ago, all terraforming efforts stopped, and the Izanagi forces converged on a single dig site. We believe they have found an artifact and are about to take it off-world. We are cloaking in one day ahead of a marine attack force. Our mission is to gather intel only. Do not get close enough to be detected. Do not engage in combat. The station is guarded by Izanagi ghost warriors who have no love for us at all. Your dropship will land about here. You can take this road up to the facility, and from there, you'll be on your own. Be careful, John. Huh? I asked Isaac to give you my pistol, Grace. She and I have been through a lot together, and I'd feel better knowing you have her down there to back you up. Isaac is ready for you, and Iban has some questions. If you haven't spoken with him yet, you can probably find him on the bridge. Good luck. What's up, boss? What do you know about the Ghost Warriors? Well trained. Some live by the old samurai code. Others are just in it for the action. I just got off the blower with the sector commander. We all just got our military ranks back. See, I don't know, John. Last time I was in uniform, it didn't turn out so good. Just ask Ida. That was a long time ago, Isaac. You've changed. You'll do better this time. 
We'll see. So, you ready for some new weapons? Fire away. I'm tinkering with that arachnid biomass you found on Hell. I'm thinking I can make a weapon out of it. Anyway, I've added the flamethrower to your loadout, and I swapped with a buddy to get incendiary grenades for the launcher. I'd have dropped off her magnum as well. I'm surprised she's willing to part with it. Take your pick. Let's take a look at Grace. Ida's had her forever. She's a really sweet weapon. 50 caliber explosive ammunition. Very accurate and very powerful. All fire is a three round burst that takes a little longer to reload. Use her for medium range targets when you're too far away for a shotgun, but too close for the sniper rifle. Anything else? How does the incendiary grenade work? Sprays burning phosphorus will set almost anything on fire. Make sure you don't get caught in the backflash. Hmm. Run down the flamethrower for me. Its name pretty much says it all. The Vulcan uses canisters of napalm for ammo and shoots out a spray of flaming gas. Just point and shoot to incinerate a whole crowd of enemies in close quarters. Altfire is a spray of unignited napalm that'll stick to any surface. You can set it off with primary fire or with one of your other weapons, but it's unstable enough that after a few seconds it'll probably ignite anyway. What'll it be? I do believe one of the favorite weapons out of this game I like is the Drac Laser. In uh, what game? In uh, Unreal 2, The Awakening. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, Isaac is planning to make a weapon out of the uh, arachnid biomass that I found on Hell. Hmm. Very interesting, is it not? Dude. Oh god. 